Well, I'm telling you what, we've got some rain that's heading your way. Let's jump right into it because I have so much to talk about. Bordner Home Improvement City Cam. This is from our tower. Keep in mind, this is about 400 and some feet off the ground. And while well, you're kind of looking through partial cloudiness, these clouds are really hanging low. But even down at the surface, like in this picture, yeah, it's well, not the greatest looking sight out there tonight with temperatures that will hover basically in the 60s through the remainder of the evening hours. 66 is the temperature now, 65 in Olathe. And it's pretty much a sea of consistency here with Marshall and Warrensburg, also Odessa at 63. Those are the coolest areas. A little bit of light fog appears to be forming. That may be the case with 90 percent humidity. We're not even at midnight yet, so there could be some patchy fog after midnight. Be mindful of that, but that should go away quickly tomorrow. 7 o'clock in the morning, 61 degrees, 64 at 9. There is a chance that there could be a little peekaboo sunshine early in the day. Don't expect much of that. And if you forget your sunglasses tomorrow, no worries. The clouds are coming back and so is the rain. Whatever you do, if it's not raining in the morning, make sure you have some rain gear or that umbrella with you because late in the day, there's a 50-50 chance that that rain is coming right back at you. Right now, a few scattered showers in the area. Closing in on the metro, it's been a fairly quiet evening for the most part. These uh, showers have looked more threatening than they really have been. But I am tracking a line of thunderstorms moving into southwest Kansas right now that will be marching our way, giving us an opportunity for storms by tomorrow. Tomorrow, late in the day, a chance for showers. Then Wednesday morning, more rain. Watch this. Every day you have a chance. Wednesday afternoon, more rain. By Thursday, another line of showers. On Friday, yes. Saturday, well, maybe a 50% chance. And then Sunday, and maybe a little blip in the evening hours, but still another chance for rain. Here's a look at that severe weather threat. It's on the lowest end of the scale. It's only marginal 5% chance for large hail and gusty winds tomorrow. I'm not really overly concerned about the severe weather, although I will be tracking it along with everyone else in the KCTV5 weather staff. We will have rain to deal with, though, between now and the end of the week. There's a chance that we could pick up an inch and a half to almost two inches of rain. This is what it looks like in linear form. Security Bank 7 day, 75 degrees Tuesday. We'll do that again on Wednesday, 50%, 90%, 60%. Wednesday, though, just target Wednesday. That really looks like a wet day. If you can squeeze out the morning hours on Tuesday, maybe get the lawnmower out, give it a quick little trim. That'd be a great thing if you could do that Tuesday because Wednesday's a wet, soggy day. Spongy ground by the end of the week with 60% rain chances to follow on Thursday and Friday. 50-50 rain chances over the weekend. Maybe you can fire up the mower over the weekend, especially Sunday and during the day. But for the most part, there are rain chances literally every day this week. And with low temperatures in the mid-60s, you can see that temperatures are not the problem. It's the pesky rain showers. Here's an hour by hour look at your weekend forecast. Chances for showers, although it looks like Saturday late in the day will be the best opportunity. And really, for the most part, the same on Sunday. With temperatures both Saturday and Sunday, Carolyn, in the 80s. All right, that's a little more like yeah. it. Thank you, Gary.